bean burritos. So let's give it a go. Okay, so I start by cutting up an onion. And then we're going to put some oil in the pan and start warming that up. And then we're going to put the onions in the pan, get them nice and caramelised. Okay, now we need to drain the black beans. Definitely best to do these over the sink, as you can see it went everywhere. And if the onions start to dry up, just add a bit more oil. Then a tablespoon of paprika. And then a teaspoon of cumin. And then whatever chilli you like to use, a teaspoon of that as well. And then you're going to want to go ahead and add the black beans and give them all a stir. Now just off of the screen I'm oiling up a baking tray for the burritos. chop up some peppers and then add them as well. And then depending on what sort of consistency you like you can mush up the black beans a bit. You can do all of them, half of them or none of them depending on what you want. And then we're going to wash and cut a spring onion. And that's just for the garnish. I like to do them at a sort of long diagonal angle just to get longer bits, but it's up to you how you want them. Oh, 
then we're going to add a tablespoon of tomato puree. and a teaspoon of Marmite. Then you're going to boil the kettle and add a bit of a splash of boiling water and about a teaspoon of salt and then crack, you know, four, five, six, seven, eight cracks of pepper. Quite a bit of pepper anyway. some white pepper as well And then you're going to start putting your filling in your wraps. So do about four large wraps. And then you want to preheat the oven to 180. And then stick your, roll your wraps up, put some cheese on top. Okay Google, 10 minute timer please. Okay Google, stop the timer. And there you go. You got your black bean burritos. So the black bean burritos were delicious. Like, um, wasn't sure how good they were. Never had them before. Really, normally I'd have chicken or beef, but is that right? Do them again.